Good morning, good morning. It's Thursday, 4.30 a.m. I'm at the gym right now getting ready to go work out, get my body in shape, get my mind in shape, get my mind set in shape. Yesterday I was driving down the road, and don't ask me why, for some unknown crazy reason, I decided to ask myself a question like, Jermaine, why haven't you been pulled over in a while? I'll cut straight to the chase. Later on that afternoon, a couple things had happened, none of which I was happy with, all of which I can take some responsibility for given what was going on up there. I get pulled over. I'm driving on the freeway, talking on the phone, and this officer, Highway Patrol, I had seen him before I even got on the freeway. I seen him parked at a sports complex, just sitting there. It looked like he was, didn't want to ride. The weather was hot. It's the same officer. I knew because he was a black officer. That's what made me take notice of him. Gets behind me, lights his lights up, pulls me over. Walks up to the car, license registration insurance. There you go, officer. He says construction zone, you were speeding through it. I understand. Give him my information, he says I'll be right back. Walks off and I'm sitting there thinking, what the hell? Now mind you, I just said other things have been happening. I mean, throughout this whole week, things have been happening that I didn't like. One of them involved uh, paying $1,000 for an AC unit and the engine broke. The engine went out on the vehicle. Complete engine went out. They can't even tell why. Had oil, fuel, uh, water, went out. Not even three hours after I had paid for the AC unit. That's just one thing. Multiple things have been happening. Anyways, the officer goes back, comes back up, writes me a ticket, hands it to me and says, I didn't get you for the speeding, but I did get you for no seatbelt. Shook his hand, said thank you. And I knew that I had asked for that. I also knew that he should have enforced the fact that I didn't have a seatbelt on. But what I say that I asked for it, I envisioned it, I thought about it, and I drew it to me. I was listening to something this morning, a, a guy by the name of Dwayne Dwyer, I think that's his name, I, I, I'm not too familiar with him, I do know he is a holistic individual and he says that whatever you think about most is what the universe draws nearer to you you think about scarcity lack you get more of it whatever you think about you get more of and I'm dead serious I had thought about that cop earlier in the day and I wasn't speeding intentionally because I wasn't trying to make that come true. So when he hit his lights up, I was just as surprised as, as any time that I would have been. But when I sat there waiting on him to come back to my vehicle, I had to rethink through my mind to see where did this come from at this time with what I'm dealing with. And I knew that I had brought it into fruition by how I was thinking. And it was confirmed this morning by what I was listening to. Watch what you're thinking. Watch what you say. If it's not what you want, stay away. Stay blessed. Go exercise.